Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on our YouTube account. We have 63,000 diamonds because we didn't do any summons last week. So it is time to knock out some of those diamonds. Now also, we have our new uh, light bearer, Raul, who is up as well. Um, haven't seen him really used anywhere. I was checking a little bit, a couple of different places. The treasure scramble, just the regular places that we do see heroes. Unfortunately, we're not seeing him used as of yet, but it is still very early. I mean, we're only a couple days in. So I wanted to hop in here and I did want to do some summons using up our stones first. Over the course of almost two weeks, we got 13 elite heroes. We are looking for Celestials and Hypos. When it comes to our regular heroes, we have them all. So even looking here, um, almost I think all of these heroes, maybe not Bronn is already at five stars, meaning that those stones we're not going to use at all. Right here, we need the Awakened Heroes, and we do not get any either, which means out of our elites. Now, of course, new week, new um, ability to get some of the weekly quests done, but also going in here, Temple of Ascension. Again, I don't know if we have any of these or if we need any of these. See, I think Bron is already at five stars. So that means it's just going to be recycling all of this food again as we continue. But we want to hit a Noble Tavern. Now, of course, when it comes to our desired hero summons, we do have the ability, and I put him in here, we do have the ability to get eight copies. Now, eight copies are going to yield us an Ascended Hero, but that means we do need two additional ones to get him up to the one star if we're going to en engrave him, which again, it's still pretty early to see exactly what we're going to do. But I want to hop in here. I want to do the summons on Light Bearers. We're going to start with our companion points in here. And of course, looking for our Celestial Heroes, looking for the Hypos and Awakened Heroes. That way we can do swaps with them or really any copies of Raul. We need some copies in there as well. There is a copy of Ogi. Just going to be, again, a little bit more food. So Light Bears are what we're looking for. And I'm wondering, I don't remember if I put him in here. I did. I did put him in the wish list. I was thinking about it when I put him in the wish list because I put him in to get furniture as well. Nothing out of all of those summons. Again, those eight we're going to save. 63,000 diamonds. I don't think we're going to have the ability to get enough copies. Now, when it comes to faction scrolls, we still do not have the ability with faction scrolls to get the awakened heroes. So it kind of sucks because you can't get them at all out of here. And it really devalues a lot for the faction scrolls. Really not a priority for faction scrolls at all anymore because, again, you cannot get those awakened heroes. And it looks like maybe, nope, just again, more recycled food in there. Did get some red chests, so that's pretty good. Then, of course, our regular scrolls, we have 64. Maybe we can pull a copy that we're going to need. There's Thisu. Now, remember, we also do have a lot of slots in our wish list that are completely empty. So with the empty wish list slots, you actually have the ability to pull anybody. Um, just again, because we have the slots, we have the open places. There's a copy of Kelthar. And again, nothing there. We have one card on the table, and I thought we had one more. And it is. Could it be Raul? It is Muriel again. Again, we have a card on the table, one light bearer. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull any copies of him. There's a copy of Rain, which again is just going to be a little bit of food. So Desired Hero Summons it is, guys. Now, of course, when we're doing the Desired Hero Summons, um, this means we're not going to be using the diamonds to get the Draconic Heroes. I do have some scrolls. I want to do some summons over there for the Draconic Heroes. But there is the new copy or the, the new Light Bearer Hero. Again, I feel like... I feel like he could be used. I, I feel like there's a couple of places where he could be used. Um, I like the skills that he possesses overall, but it's still kind of early. That is two copies. We need six more, and it's a lot of diamonds to pull these at 3,000 a pop. It's not 5,000 a pop, but it, it is still a little bit costly because, of course, every 9,000 diamonds, we do get one copy of him, but having 50,000 or 60,000 diamonds in here, it seems that we're still not going to be able to build them out. Might have to wait and get some more diamonds out of here, maybe some more pulls. And there's a double. That is what we needed, guys. There is a double copy of Raul. Let's see if we can get... What do we got left? We have, what, two more here. We might be able to actually get them. I'm wondering if one of these are going to be lucky enough. There's a copy of Gwen. Do Light Bears again. Copy of Lucius. We should be able to actually get it. So that gives us one more copy. So 60,000 diamonds, pretty good in there because one, two, there we go. That is all of the copies we needed. Now, of course, we don't want to pull any more because that is zero of eight. But thinking of the Temple of Ascensions, boom. 
There we go, and there is the Light Bearer Hero. I know we already have some food in there. Even looking at the Elite Plus Heroes, we have a ton of copies. Kind of crazy, the amount of copies. And you get to a point of AFK Arena. I mean, we've been playing for five years, um, and a lot of players also wonder how I can do eight and have eight, um, the ability to pull eight copies of him. It is through the VIP level. Once you get to VIP 15, you actually have the ability to pull more. And there is the Ascended Hero, so I can actually drop him in the Resonating Crystal. I can put him in to get some furniture. We can get him built up a little bit. And again, don't know the utility of them at this point. Um, only time will tell exactly who we're using and how they're going to be used. But I like having them built. We're already on level 908. That does also give us one more summon out of here. Now, as you can see, we do have 75 scrolls. And we already do have Nyla at five stars. I believe I have Cassius at four stars as well. But if we get extra copies of Nyla or Cassius, they're actually going to be copies that we're going to use with Gorgie. And that is the only ones that we have, which here, yeah, he's already at four stars. So again, we want to use these because we want to build these out. And any time that we pull copies in here of Gorgie or of the Epic Heroes, and again, if we get Cassius, if we get a couple, we are looking for Meleon. That is the one that we are specifically looking for with all of the summons we're pulling out of here. There's a copy of Nyla. Again, Nyla is gonna be food at this point. There's another copy of Cassius. Same, Cassius is gonna be food at this point. And I'm hoping maybe we see a Highborn. I'm gonna use one summon in here for diamonds. Then I think we have five more, and that's a double, guys. Very nice, that is Pulina and Milan. Milan. So there is a couple more, get some resources. What do we have, five more? We'll do five more little summons in here, and there we go. We get another copy of Cassius. That is going to take Cassius to five stars, I believe. Might even be five stars in one copy. Wow. Another copy of Pulina. And the final one here does give us a copy of Gorgi. Now, looking at the temple, we have 23 in here with the Draconic Supplies. 24. I am also going to, because we already do have, um, we have a chest in here that actually has right here, guys. I'm gonna pick these. Now, the reason being, we already do have, um, where did you have our other Highborn built up quite a bit? We already have Ascended. we already have the Nine of Nine, so Hildewin has already built out quite a bit. Now, we do need two more copies of Gwen. The two copies, if we could pull, pull those two copies of Gwen, that would be amazing. That would take her to Ascended, so let's see if by chance we can get some, if we can get some diamonds out of here. If we could get one copy of Gwen, I'd be happy. Because it doesn't look like it's going to happen and it's going to be another 40 used. And just like that, guys, this is the reason why these um, Draconic Heroes, especially the Highborn ones, are just astronomically expensive. And I know they talked about it in the dev notes that they were looking at possibly making some adjustments. Um, it's just not coming as of right now. So let's hop in the Temple of Ascension, see what we got. There's some more copies of Gorgie. And I think, again, that is going to max out that copy of Cassius. And again, the bonus copies, we're going to use as food. We've been looking here because we have Pulina. That is going to be two to get up to Ascended once we have Legendary Plus, Mythic Plus. Two to Ascended, that'll add two stars. So we'll have Pulina at two stars. And then, of course, Gorgie. I'm going to have some use some copies of Gorgie here. That is gonna build legendary. There is going to be, oh, we built that one backwards. It took him out of there, took out the gear, but there is legendary plus. Um, very nice, I, I mean, that is awesome. Now, of course, here, both of these need legendary plus, so we're gonna have to just wait till we get more copies of Gorgie. Again, there's another Nyla, Cassius is done at this point. And when it comes to the building of these heroes, it is just still so, so silly um, with how expensive it is. Even looking in the Dragon Forge. There we go. We'll get some resources out of there. Another 210. I'm wondering if there's another 10 emblems out of there, guys, as we continue to build these out, as we continue to get them higher. And of course, in the Dragon Horn, that gives us another six. Not going to be enough to build up. Well, there we go. Furniture a little bit higher, but I'm going to save, try to get a little bit of the engraving on there. But could we pull, could we pull a copy? We have 10 summons out of here. It is a copy. Could it be a double? It is just a single, guys, but we're one. We are one single copy away 
from getting Gwen up to that ascended level, which is awesome, guys. There's the double copy, one more ascended. And then of course, we're gonna we're gonna have to start saving for actually the next Highborn Hero, which we know is gonna be coming down the pipeline sometime soon. But yes, we are gonna have another hero. So there we go. There is Raul. So we'll drop him in here, we'll do some summons. And over the course of the last two weeks, we have 122,000 Poe coins. That's right. That is how many we've gotten over the last two weeks. Um, kind of crazy. We'll go ahead. We'll optimize them. They're down in the bottom. Raul is now there. Let's hop in the workshop again. Wish list. We have a couple, um, which that's that's the awakened or no, that's the original version of Leica. Not sure why we were building out the original version, but that's okay. Already at ten, and there we go. We still have a lot that we need. There's millions in there as well. Yeah, we still have a lot that we need out of here. This is gonna give us a lot of furniture that we're needing. And of course, copies for Raul. There's a copy for Villanel. Villanel is definitely another one, guys, that we have been building out like crazy. We'll get her to that nine of nine furniture. There's a copy for Cassius. And of course, Cassius, I'm not sure how close, I think six or seven for Cassius. There's Rimaru, which we knew we have Shuna already built out, but there is a copy for Rimaru. Another copy for Villanelle, and I have to make sure that they're not getting too close. There's the Awakened version of Shamira, which honestly, she might not be the best to build out of here, but let's see, there's another Villanelle. Let's go ahead and optimize this. That takes all Cassius to three, and Villanelle goes to nine. We got six, we got eight, yeah, eight right there, so we need one more. One more for Villanelle, and then we'll have to swap it out for another Awakened Hero. It is just kind of crazy how much we swap out. So there's a copy for Gwen. Even with Gwen, I don't mind if we overbuild Gwen at this point, just because we know the damage that she is bringing is super high. There's a copy for Laika. None for Raul. We haven't seen any. There is Villanelle again. All right, so let's optimize. Boom, that takes Villanelle to the nine of nine. Drop this out, and I'm thinking, see, Belinda's already kind of built out quite a bit. Oh, we have so many heroes in here that are built out. You know what? Let's put Entendre in here. There's Villanelle. Where's Entendre? I think Entendre's, oh, already in there. Don't want to build out Brutus. Um, we could put, you know what? Let's put someone like this. Now, the original version of Baden, crazy enough, still being used. So getting that, of course, is going to make a big difference. There's a copy for Lucius. There are a few of our very, very basic heroes that are kind of bugged through what we've gotten in the future. There's a copy for Entendre. And still, Raul evades us. There is Baden, the original version of Baden. We one more to take Baden to that 9 of 9 furniture. There is Entendre for a second time. I'm also wondering who is going to be the next heroes that are coming down. There's another copy for Gwen. I believe Gwen is already at that nine of nine, or she is already over the nine of nine. Another copy for Laika. And if we don't get that copy for Baden, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a piece on him. Just again, to finish him out, to break him out, there's Rimaru. I feel like a couple like Rimaru we could build out as well. Another copy. I think that might break it out for Rimaru as well. Let's optimize. So what do we have in here? We need one for Baden, one for Rimuru. Let's do that. Let's look at the original version of Baden. That will take him to the nine of nine. Let's utilize one of these for Rimuru. Again, Shuna's already at the nine of nine. Boom, that's gonna make a big difference. And again, a couple different game modes where they're being used. That is also gonna allow us to drop both of these out. Let's put Belinda in there, still being used. Um, we have Shamir in there, we have, I'm almost wondering like a non-awakened hero, you know what? Where's Labirda? Labirda's at 33. I believe 36, I think 36 is the max out of here. Let's go ahead and recycle what we have. Yeah, that gives us again, Raul, we didn't get any. Cassius finally got that three of nine. Gonna make a little bit of a difference. Let's recycle. I know this is gonna give us enough for what? Two more summons? Maybe a little more? Yeah, two more summons. 
There's one piece, oh, double pieces. There's a piece for Leica, the Meteon as well. Being the exact same, recycle. Cycle all of those and then equip what we got. So Melion is definitely building out and getting a couple copies in there. Let's run through, I might have seen. So that's max, max, there's two. I'm gonna optimize both those. Six to eight, we still have more. Again here, not gonna make a difference. Plus one there, maxed and maxed, very nice. Of course, Shimiro, we have what? One, 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 max. What was this one? Tenacity versus Hanging furniture, which was red damage resistant. You know what? I'm gonna go with the crowd control. That does build it up. Another one. I think we pulled two for Entendre. What do we have here? Attack rating. Wow. Yeah, we'll build up a little bit more of her attack rating. We can definitely use her being a little bit stronger in here. Again, another 2%. When you start min-maxing some of these characters, it makes a big difference. Even here, we have one, 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 so this is what we're looking to do. A defense rating, of course. Defense is gonna transition into attack for him. Defense rating has increased 6.6%, .6%, which again, that transitions directly into um, his attack with the SP effect that he possesses. Wow. Guys, didn't get any for Raul, but again, Melion, we did get quite a few. Let's look at the storeroom. Yeah, Gwen, we have a couple for Polina already in there. There's Melion. We have what, one in there for him? So we only pulled one in there, but that's okay. And again, we have 1,061 pieces of furniture, which is insane um, building those heroes out. Now again, I'm gonna hop in here. Not sure where. Where we can kind of drop him in here. Raul is in there, there we go. We'll put him in there, 908. And let's throw some, just some furniture, or excuse me, some gear on both of these. Just that way, when I don't remember that we, that we don't have any gear on there or anything, let's resonate it all, there we go. So throwing all the tier three gear, now of course, when it comes to gear itself, we've gotten a couple pieces for Gwen, we still need the chest piece. Got the 40, we need one more, and we will have that built out. So definitely some really, really good good summons in here. I'm happy with what we got out of here. I, I am, it's really good. Now, of course, looking in here, the Elder Tree has been maxed out for quite a while. One level, two level, do I have enough to max this out? I don't think I do. And 218 is gonna be our new max, guys. We are one level away, so gaining two more levels, and again, that is going to be across the board for everyone gaining in there. Very, very cool. So, all right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.